again, everybody. This is Glenn with Corel. And in today's segment, I want to talk a little bit about a simple alarm you can end up getting on IJW. Now, you may be installing one for the first time, or you're walking up on it, and you see a dreaded code that says either E1 or E2. That is not a problem, and especially not a problem even if you're installing it and you're just getting connected for the first time. So let's talk about what that means. In the case of an E1 alarm, it's simple. The primary sensor that you needed to hook up is not being sensed by the control. What does that mean? Well, maybe you've either got it connected in the wrong terminal on the back of the control, or somehow the connection didn't get made at all. Maybe you've got a bad connection, or worst case scenario, you have a sensor that is completely messed up and doesn't read correctly. In that case, you're gonna get this E1 code. What that means is the only sensor that this thing is looking for to connect to, it's not seeing a connection. So it's gonna throw that code out there and tell you that there's a problem with it. Now, if you see an E2 code, it means it's looking for a defrost sensor because when you were programming the control, you told it you were gonna hook up a defrost sensor to it in the steps you took before getting it connected. And if the case is that you were not meaning to have a defrost sensor, then it's best to back up in Applica and fix the programming so it's not looking for a defrost sensor. Or if you need a defrost sensor connected, let's make sure your wire connections are good. These are two very simple simple things to fix and all you need to do is check it with your meter and verify that you have connections so that in and of itself is all you need to know about e1 or e2 have fun enjoy